Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crosscreek. In BL tonight, first off, we've got technology company here, T-Tech Limited, a trade in their shares by the executive chairman. Talk about confidence in a company. The company's exec chair bought 120,000 shares November 24th, 2021. Paramount Trade in Jamaica Limited, dividend consideration coming up here. The board of directors, their meeting is scheduled right around the corner, December 8, 2021, to consider a dividend payment. It'll be an interim dividend to all shareholders. We'll see how this goes. Now, Pulse Investments making a nice announcement here, a good one, a director appointment here. Uh, it's kind of like what they call like a lifetime, uh, not necessarily a lifetime achievement award, but a big lifetime move here uh, by the company. This is for Mrs. Lloyd Sherwood, a longtime shareholder in the business. Uh, you've seen her over the past couple of decades going to all the company events, big time director and so forth, but she's gonna be director emerita for the company, sometimes they call it Emeritus, etc. But it took effect on Monday, November 15th, 2021. Now it goes on to say that the advisory, that she'll no longer be a voting member of the board, but she'll be at liberty to attend and participate all the company's board meetings. Now next up, we have here Scotia Group Jamaica Limited expanding Hogwell Henry's role overall. So Scotia Group Jamaica here, clearly very pleased with Tugwell Henry's uh, performance, being a performer, uh, let's say a year in or so, and throughout her career overall, because she has so much uh, banking experience, financial experience. So the release goes on to say the advisory that she's been promoted to senior vice president VP with, respons with responsibility for the English Caribbean, North and Central districts, effective next year, January 1st, 2022. Now, with this appointment, Mrs. Tugwell Henry will continue in her current role as president and CEO of Scotia Group Jamaica, but it's gonna be expanded for the mandate or oversight responsibilities for their operations in the Cayman Islands and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Now, last up, Blue Power Group Limited here. Revenue falls or comes off 25%, pretty significant for the six months 2021 results so clearly the whole caricom issues you know the lawsuits whatever is happening there are taking a toll on blue powers sales revenues and profitability we'll talk about that this is a six months results october 31st 2021 revenue was jamaican 211 million versus 281.9 million for 2020 that's that fall off now the net profit actually jumped significantly to 195 million from let's say around 50 million or so, 49.8, but it does include in the 2021 results, disposal of property of about 146 million. If you take that out, let's say it's a bit flat, a little bit down, and some other income entries that were pretty substantial. The EPS earnings per share, 35 cents for 2021, six months. Equity closed 1.4 billion with cash investments and investments as well, you know, cumulative, approximately 770 million. Big time balance sheet there for Blue Power. I'm Mark Crosscreek. This is Business Life.